Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel and welcome to this very important video today. As you must be aware, um, I am creating a new playlist for the very specific topic of power system operation and smart grid. This is a new module that I will be teaching during this semester and today the plan is to show you the module presentation and before we start before we start i would like to remind you that all the information slides are located in my research gate repository also during this course during this module you will have some um, practical examples and all those practical examples, MATLAB scripts, the excellent Power Factory files, and so on, all of them will be located in my GitHub repository. For that reason, I highly suggest that you go over there and be familiarized with that. Also, if you are watching this video, it's because you are watching at YouTube. And also, I would like to kind you ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Finally, if you would like to be involved in the actuality and the, the main developments in the electrical power system, I highly suggest that you subscribe to my social media, specifically Twitter and LinkedIn. But yes, now it's time. Now it's time that we move forward and start to talk about this amazing module that we have about power system operation and smart grid. Okay, what is, what is the academic content that you will find here? In this case, the course or the module about power system operation and smart grid is basically a module that is dedicated to show you an overview about the power system operation. And this module will give you the most important details about the issues that you can find in power system operation. And this is related with many subsystems or many subsets inside the power system operation, talking about power system economics, talking about power system security, monitoring, control and protection. This module, in particular, this module will be focused in three main areas. OK. We, the first part will be related with power system monitoring, especially dedicated for um, all this uh, infrastructure that is dedicated to monitoring the operation. Then the second part will be related with power system control. And finally, the most important and also the most interesting part for me, power system protection, okay? In this case, we will present the most basic details about the power system protection schemes inside the electrical power system, including how to define settings and how to create the coordination between different uh, protection systems. Also, in the monitoring section, you will learn more about Power System Operation Center, specifically talking about SCADA systems, okay? And finally, the last part of this module will be dedicated to the day-by-day -day operation of the electrical power system. It means the, the, the economic part of the electrical power system, unit commitments, and economic dispatch, okay? Now, it's time to talk about the learning outcomes. In this module, you will have two basic success of learning outcome, one regarding to knowledge and another regarding to skills. From the knowledge point of view, you will understand and you will be able to have a proper description about how a power system is designed and operated, okay? with a special focus in qualitative uh, requirements for frequency desviation, frequency control, and also different type of protection units used in electrical power system. And then you will complement all those concepts with the uh, introduction about the smart grid, okay? If you want to learn more about smart grid, I highly suggest that you go to the Canvas website and there is the chapter number one of one of my books talking about the concept of a smarter grid. Regarding skills, this module is rich in many skills that you will learn, 
especially the, uh, talking about contribution of central working tasks performed by planning, developing, and operating the power system, okay? In classical electrical power system, the, 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 the operation is basically centralized. However, this paradigm is rapidly changing um, because the integration of distributed generation. And, and very important aspect, very important skills that you will learn here is a protection scheme, how to define the mm, protection selection and the settings that you will, you will you need to use for those um, protection relays. Finally, the last part of this course include the SCADA, that is the Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. That is basically one system dedicated for monitoring the electrical variables and is used for many, many decades for monitoring the electrical power system and for the operation. Now, regarding the content, well, this is a very rich module we will start with the introduction about power systems and power system operations. Second part will be related with power system monitoring. From there, we will go for analysis scenarios and static and dynamic security, very important concept about reliability and security. Then we will have a discussion in, in about power system stability and the implications from the operation point of view. Then we will go for a very specific case, and that is the power system balance and the frequency control. Mm, from there, we will go for optimization and talk about energy management system and distribution management system. And then um, topic number seven, I will jump in and talk about protection relaying, current and voltage transformers, operating principle of protection relays, and then we will close this important module with two of the most important protection schemes. The first one is the overcurrent protection that is typically used for distribution system. And finally, and we will discuss about distance protection that is the classical protection scheme used for transmission system. Now, learning activities. Well, in this case, this module is very simple because we will have some classes. Some of those classes, depending on the COVID situation, will be in the campus, but we will have a strong support of online, okay? We will have very, we will have a several videos, pre-record videos that we will be using for the learning process and the learning material, okay? From the learning activities, we will, we will identify lecturers um, that will be recorded on video, theoretical exercises, some practical um, simulation-based illustration, basically um, pre-record videos. And what is very important here is the self-study, okay? You must understand that you have a lot of time by yourself to read all the reference that we are suggesting in this module, and also that you have the time to um, reflect about those concepts and enhance your understanding about them. Assessment? Well, this year, this module is a very simple assessment. It's a single assessment at the very end of the semester. It's just a writing final exam that is 100%, okay? That is basically the only assessment that we will have in this, um, in this very specific module. Regarding recommended readings, okay, there are two basic books that we are recommending. Um, for, for, the, for the first part of the semester, we will be using practical power system operation. Um, that this is a IEEE Wiley book from 2014 from Ebrahim Baheli. For the second part of the semester, regarding protection system or relying, we will use a very famous book that is relaying for system performance. And this is basically the book for Stanley Horowitz and Aaron Patke. It's a very famous book and very well recognized worldwide, okay? However, I always try to offer my students more, um, more literature, more books that they can find and use. And for the economic part, for the power system operation and control, I will recommend my favorite book, and that is the Alan Good and Bruce Wallenberg. 
Power, Power Generation Operation and Control, that is a book coming from John Wiley and Sons, is basically one of the most famous, I would say probably is, a, is used around the world in many courses. And also for uh, power system operation and control, we can, we can use also a TIF depth, mother power system control and operation. You can find the links for um, finding those books on internet in the section below. Also, uh, for protection systems, I will be using or supporting my classes with several documentation. For instance, I will be referring many times to the IEEE standard 242. That is basically the recommended practice for protection and coordination of industrial commercial power system. Also, one of my famous, one of my favorite books related to protection systems is the book from Paul Anderson, a very classical book, Power System Protection, is again one IEEE press book from 1999, okay? Finally, there are two very important books coming from the industry. One of them is coming from Alston. You can find this book on the internet. That is Network Protection Automation Guide, Protection Relays, Measurement and Control. This is a book from 2011. However, it's totally valid to use today. And finally, probably many people say that this is the most used and most famous book for protection system. This is the, the, the book coming from Russell Mason, and that is the art and size of protection relay. This book, the original version coming from General Electric Grid Solutions, is coming from 1956, okay? They are, they are versions and more recent version, but this is probably the most used book for uh, protection systems, okay? Finally, before we close this video, I would like again to recommend that you follow or uh, my personal suggestion, my personal recommendation regarding to practical examples. You can go to the GitHub or you can go to ResearchGate and find my presentations, the slides, and so on. And this is all for the presentation of this uh, very special module, Power System Operation and Smart Grid. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you the next time. Bye now.